Hi, good morning, Corey Thorne, Psychic Medium, Spiritual Healer, and Life Coach. Coming in to do the channel message for the month of May. It is a week into May, a little bit late here. Um, for my Scorpios, I have four signs left to get in here. So for my Scorpios, and please remember that this is not to replace any medical, psychological, or scientific advice or evidence that you have been given. This is to be taken as a form of entertainment. I am a channeler, not an astrologer. So I have little bits and pieces of astrology that kind of comes through. And this is also a, um, a bleh, this is also a general message. It is not meant to be, it's not meant to be taken as a personal reading. If there's anything that's in here that resonates with you, links to you, then yay. And if not, then it's not for you this month. So this is for my Scorpios. And what's coming up for my Scorpio is a sense of um, a falling. How do I put this? What I'm picking up is there's a falling of ego. And ego is not always exactly what we think it is. It's not that we think we're better. It's sometimes our fear. So it's the falling of our fears, the falling of all that's linking to our egos of how we try to describe life, how we try to say or try to control or think that our lives will take place. When we have that planned story in, in our heads, that is... Um, that's kind of the energy that I'm picking up is that there's a sense of being weighted down with ego. If we can free yourself of ego this month, if you can let go and trust and just have a sense of peace, gratitude, and, um, and trust, and be honest with yourself of what is, what is my habit of, what is my habit of, of making up my own stories. What is my habit that I do of saying, I don't do that. I'm not like that. I don't do that. Pay attention to that. And it's not that that's been a bad thing. It's just that it's not serving the next phase of your life because the next phase is you becoming powerful in your own light, powerful in your own, in your own belief systems of knowing what's true to be true for you, what aligns to you, something has to die. That's what I keep hearing. Something has to die. Something has to leave for my Scorpios to awaken into the truth of who they are, into the truth of their true essence of belonging and knowing that there has to be, um, there has to be so much many more layers to myself. I've been kind of, so for my, a lot of my Scorpio energy is like I've been kind of living in the, in the shell of, my protective self, like I've been constantly just trying to stay that protective um, self. And it just, sometimes that stinger of a Scorpio, you know, can come over like this. Well, it's the same thing. You're quick, you can be all sweet and lovable, but once something happens that doesn't, you don't like, it's like, you can quickly jump in. And it's like, we're, let, we're taking off that bar. We're taking off that and saying, okay, you know what? I might not like this but this is happening for a reason or I'm experiencing this for a reason. I don't need to be so quick to be feminist. I don't need to be so quick to jump on. And that could be being feminist with yourself to jump on and attack yourself, like be hard on yourself. This is about being, uh, being aware of what is not serving, not working and be aware of the changes because what is about to happen? The breakthrough that's about to come, the opening, the is it's almost magical into saying for a lot of the Scorpios, you're about to find yourself, you're about to shine and you've waited a lot of years. You've been, it's like, holy crap, I've been waiting now to finally say, I cannot let that little child and me be running my life or, or I can't let the fears of, of the past be taking, taking so much control of my life or around my life. You're about to kind of walk towards, walk towards what is, what is needed or what is, or what is, available or accessible at this time in a whole new way. It's like, um, just as if I'm going to say elephant, just as an elephant knows how to make its way to the water, you know how to make your way to your light. You just have not been trusting your light and you have not been trusting your, your, your path and your journey. And I just see there's so many other places. Your hands have been everywhere. You have been everywhere. You've been kind of, and, and hands everywhere makes, reminds me of Ganesh and 
I'm just picking up the energy of um, a faith and a believing in um, what you would have thought to be impossible before. And don't be afraid to think of the what would have been what you would have labeled as impossible when you when we let down that guard. That anything is possible. Anything in this life is possible. And I just feel that. Um, not I feel the channel is making me feel. I'm feeling as if whatever has been burdening, holding you, sinking you in, gra overgrounding you, overgrounding. I've never heard that, but overgrounding. What has been really keeping you so planted down on being practical? is now falling away so that you can fly a little bit higher, be a little bit unprepared, be a little bit okay with being unprepared, but still knowing to love yourself. Still knowing to love yourself, even in those moments of when the unexpected is happening, because there's so many unexpected to happen. And I get faith, love, boundaries, tenderness. And it's in, for some of my Scorpios, there's unexpected pregnancies, birth, unexpected relationships, unexpected changes, like so many changes coming in. And I got you all clumped together. I don't have you divided into business or love and other relationships. Everything is clumped together for my Scorpios this month because I feel like you're a combination of everything. There's everything that's happening. There's a lot of energy swirling around my Scorpios. Uh, love is the answer. Love is the answer to everything. Uh, for you guys, it's like just okay. If it's if it's tough, love yourself. If you if you have to use words, use loving words. If you have to make a change, think loving thoughts. No matter what it is, it feels like you need to come from a place of being loving. But boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. You can be loving and still have boundaries. You can make changes and still have boundaries. And you can let your guard down and still have boundaries. It's about placing those healthy boundaries of of your expectations. So what you're letting go of is like, I'm no longer expecting um, or what others expect of you. So I'm letting go of all expectations of what I have, of what I thought my life should be. And I'm just like, I'm free falling. You're just going to let yourself free fall. And also to let go of expect expectations, what others thought you should do or how others thought you should live your life. It's like, fuck it. I'm letting that all go. I'm kind of moving into my own life, my own self. Have faith. I'm telling you, have faith. Things are aligning in a beautiful way for my Scorpios. Don't know how they're all going to come. You're just being asked to let go. Don't be so quick to be snappy. Don't be so quick to jump on things. Don't be so quick to be angry. Have faith because the faith that is needed is going to align you to what was already written in the books long before you arrived. So the changes that are coming are wonderful, beautiful do not be afraid. Just know that there's so much to be happy for in the end, even though the changes are taking place enthusiasm. There's a rebirth. There's a new birth. There's so many beautiful things. Much love to you for the month of May. My Scorpios, enjoy it. Um, hold on. Hold on for the changes. It's coming 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. That's the line of dates, 18, 19, 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So you're getting the whole remnants of the full moon. Um, just love. Love is the answer. Remember that. Much love to you all and have a wonderful May. Bye-bye.